nailed up the side of the PNG building. Now the Greenpeace protesters want charges against them scaled back. Attorneys for the nine people arrested have, with a very visible stunt in March, asked the judge to toss out the most serious charges against them. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setter is leading the way live with what was decided in court, Andrew, just a short time ago. Yeah, Lisa, what's at stake for the protesters is a possible felony conviction that could follow them for life. Their attorney argued that's too stiff a punishment for what he called a political protest. Back in March, nine people managed to sneak inside. Procter and Gamble and unfurl huge banners protesting the company's use of palm oil. Today in court, their attorney, Lou Serkin, argued that the protest was an exercise in free speech. He asked Judge Robert Winkler to dismiss felony burglary charges. Serkin claimed it was the content of the message that caused prosecutors to file stiff charges. Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Mark Peetmeyer's response. He says that it uh, was not what they said, but what they did that's important. They could have hung a sign that said, Greenpeace loves Procter and Gamble. They could have hung a sign that criticized a competitor. It could have said, Colgate causes cavities. It could have said, Winkler for judge or Dieters for prosecutor. It doesn't matter. They're being charged for their actions, not the content of their message. Well, Judge Robert Winkler agreed with the prosecution. The felony charges stand. We learned today that there's been a plea offer made by prosecutors so far. It's been ignored by the defense. With the possibility of jail time hanging over their heads, the nine protesters could reconsider. Lisa?